Hallelujah. I had a word before coming up here. Though your beginning may be small, he <laughs> said your letter N should greatly increase. Amen. Expect great increases this season. In Jesus' glorious name. Please, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is our advancement arm. We'll be looking at the forces that make for advancement in life. And this morning, I want to be sharing with us the force of gratitude. The force of gratitude. Very silent, but very powerful. Ever grateful is ever advancing. Ever grateful is ever winning. Ever grateful is ever increasing. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 19. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them and they shall not be few. And I will also glorify them and they shall not be small. Ever grateful is ever advancing. Ever grateful is ever increasing. I will multiply them. Anytime you show gratitude to God, God shows you that it is his will to multiply. Anytime you are grateful to God, God glorifies you and smallness is terminated. Remember that it doesn't matter the level you have reached now, there is still another place called forward. For you to get to that next level, you need to drop your gratitude to God. God can do anything, any day, in as much as there is no one stealing his glory. God does not play with his glory. And he will never share it with anyone. What is gratitude? This is the art of heartily acknowledging, magnifying, appreciating, exalting, exalting, glorifying God for his help, his grace, his mercies, his supplies, his acts, his benefits, the works, his works in our life, the operation of his hand in our lives, in our families, in our endeavors, the art of heartily acknowledging, magnifying, exalting, appreciating, exalting God, glorifying God for all his help, his grace, his mercies, supplies, his acts, the works of his hand, the oppression of his hand, his benefits in our lives, in our families, in our endeavors. Psalm 103, 2 to 5, he said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. There are things to forget in life. There are things not to forget. If it comes to his benefit, the Bible says you should never forget it. If it comes to negative things in the past, he says forget ye the former things. There are things to forget and there are things never to forget. He says ye that forget God. Now consider this, ye that forget God, <laughs> lest I tear you into pieces. Whosoever glorified me, Whosoever offer a praise glorified me, and whosoever uttereth his conversational right shall see the salvation of God. Psalm 50, 22 to 23. Please never forget his benefit. Never forget his works in your life. Because it is so easy for us to forget. It's so easy for us to forget yesterday, what he did yesterday, because of the pressures of what has not been done. Papa says something and I believe it. He said to take God for granted is to be grounded in life. Never take the ass of God for granted. Please 
never take God's acts in your life for granted. He said, because they regard not the works of his hand, neither the oppression of his hand, they said, the Lord will not build them up, and he shall destroy them. Psalm 28, verse 5. They didn't commit adultery. They didn't steal. But all the problem was because they forgot the work of his hand. They regarded it not. They didn't bring it to mind. They didn't remember it. They didn't appreciate God for his works. And then he said he will not build them up. And if somebody is not being built up, the person cannot advance. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, I slept. I woke me up because the Lord sustained me. You cannot sustain yourself. If you are not alive, will you be talking of business? Will you be talking of career? Will you be talking of promotion? The, I slept and woke me up because the Lord sustained me. No wonder he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times. At all times. At all times. Which means you don't have any time not to give God thanks. You don't have any reason not to give him gratitude. At all times. Listen to me. When you appreciate God, you don't depreciate in life. People who appreciate God always will always appreciate in life. This is a force that makes for advancement. If you want to keep increasing, if you want to keep advancing, keep appreciating him. Hallelujah. It is a well-known fact that when you appreciate a king for his finger, you will see his hand. And as a matter of fact, if you appreciate this God for his hand, you will see his outstretched hand. Hallelujah. Somebody is going to receive that outstretched hand of God. As a matter of fact, your flow in grace, in anointing, increases the more you show gratitude to God. You see, it's a good thing to give thanks to God and to show forth his loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. Psalm 92, 1 to 2. In verse 10, he said, My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. You need fresh oil for fresh impacts. You need fresh oil for fresh advancement. You need fresh oil for fresh increases. You need fresh oil to tear new grounds. Hallelujah. And it comes by appreciating God. What are the dangers of ingratitude? <laughs> what are the dangers of ingratitude? There are two things that will make you move in life. Is that you know the benefits? What is the idea for you? It will motivate you to move. Or if you know what is you are going to suffer, <laughs> it will also make you to move. Amen. So it's what either what you're pursuing you or what you are pursuing. <laughs> Glory to God. What are the dangers of ingratitude? Number one danger of ingratitude is destruction 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 people don't know that the destruction can come easily you know what somebody builds in 10 years can be destroyed in one minute it is easier to destroy than to build first corinthians 10 10 neither momo you as the momo in the wilderness and they were destroyed by the destroyer the devil knows what can make you to lose ground with God. He knows. You know, a time came, they wanted to, you know, Balaam was hired by Balak to curse the people of God. He said, I call, 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 bless you. I call, 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 bless you. He said, if you can't curse these people, don't bless them at all. <laughs> he said, I have a commandment to bless and I can't do otherwise. That's in number 23. Now listen to me. He tried to curse them and he couldn't curse them. Because you cannot cause who God has blessed. But when Balaam went back, he went to strategize. He said, don't worry. I know what to do to them. I will set them up with their God. God will deal with them. And what did he do? He brought strange women and brought them. And in as much as they began to commit adultery, fornication, one day, 23,000 of them were destroyed. One day. <laughs> what he couldn't do, but setting them up to misbehave, they lost out. The same way the devil knows what you will do, what he can do to you so that you will lose out from God. And one of the things he says easily to people is murmuring and complaining. Eh? Eh? Is it only 20,000 I sold today? Only 20,000. Can you imagine this? Hmm? After coming out since early in the morning, 20,000. What is 20,000? Eh, God said, okay. He knows what to do so that you can be destroyed. 
that will never be a portion in Jesus' name. Neither Momo you as they murmured in the wilderness and they were destroyed by the destroyer. I know how I started in the year. I know why I should have been now, but I'm not there. Yeah, yeah I know. All those complaining and murmuring, they regarded not the work of his hand, neither the operation of his hand. Because of that, he said, God will not build them up. In other words, God will not advance them. God will not allow them to develop. God will not allow them to increase. And if God is the one resisting you, no one can help you. If God is the one resisting a man, nobody can help the person. If the devil is resisting you, if God comes, he will give way. If angels are resisting you, as a matter of fact, if I command them, they will go. But if it is God, if all the pastors in this world gather and join hands together and anoint it together, it won't move. That's why we need to be careful. They regarded not the work of his hand, neither the oppression of his hand. He said, God will not build them up and he will destroy them. Psalm 28, verse 5. If you don't understand this, look for Uncle Nebu. When he came one day and he said, look, this is a kingdom my hand has built. Can you imagine all this kingdom it pulls? My hand has built. God said, okay, you will go to the bush for seven years, free of charge. No pedicure, no manicure. Seven years. When he came out, Nobody advised him. He said, hey, there is a God in heaven who rules in the affairs of men. You don't need to go through such frustration to know it. What are the dangers of ingratitude? God is angered with ingratitude because he's jealous for his glory. If there's anything God is jealous of, is his glory. Isaiah 42 verse 8, he said, he will never share his glory with any man, with any graven image. God will never share his glory if anything you want to do, don't touch his glory. Don't come near it. That's why he said, Oh, ye priest, this commandment is for you. If you will not lay it to how to give glory to my name, I will curse your blessing. So even blessing God has already given can be spoiled when his glory is tampered with. It can be spoiled. Thank God for the turnover you are experiencing. Thank God for the promotion you have enjoyed. But don't tamper with his glory. Never you think it is by your hand. That you have gotten this victory. <laughs> he said, you know what he told them? He said, when you get to that land, that the land flowing with milk and honey. He said, never you think it is by your hand. That's why he said, you should remember the Lord your God. For it is he that gave you the power to make word. Never think that it is by your strength. Never think it is by your hand. Never. Consider this. Now, consider this. You that consider. There are things to consider. There are things not to consider. Abraham, consider not the deadness of Sarah's womb. We consider. There are things to look at. There are things not to look at. We look not at the things that are seen. But we look at the things that are not seen. Consider this. You that forget God. Consider it. Never you forget him. Let's he tear you into pieces. Anytime you play with the glory of God, he can tear that is why you should not forget to give glory to him. Ask Uncle Herod when you see him. One day in Acts chapter 12, Herod gave a speech. <laughs> and they say, well, I, this is the voice of God, <laughs> not the voice of man. And as I believe, he says, see now you are recognizing it. We have been speaking like this since. Is it now that the thing that occurred to you? <laughs> I know what happened. The Bible says in Acts 12 verse 23 that because he gave not God glory, worms ate him up. The worms have always been there. There are worms of life that eat people up. They've been there waiting for those who will not give glory to God because God is jealous for his glory. This is a vital secret, a vital force for increase and for advancement in life. Why gratitude? Quickly, I run through some this now. Why gratitude? Why must I be grateful to God? Number one, a man can receive nothing except to be given him from above. So there's nothing you have now that God didn't give you. John 3, 27. A man can receive nothing except it be given him from above. So anything you have, anything you have seen, any increase you have seen, it is because God gave it to you. Number two, except the Lord build a house, the laborers are laboring in vain. <laughs> Except God watches over a city, the watchmen are watching in vain. In other words, that's Psalm 127 verse 1. In other words, God is the principal factor to every building in life. 
If you want to advance, God is the principal factor to your advancement. Hebrews 3, 4. Every house is built by some man, but God is the builder of all things, including your business, including your career, including your destiny. Number three, why gratitude? Every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above. It comes from the Father of light, in whom there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. James 1.17. I used to tell people, in the quadratic equation of life, God is the constant factor. There is no variableness in God. So you can predict him. God can be predicted. There's no variableness in him. Because if you do your own side, he will always do his own side. Why gratitude? Number four. God is the principal factor to every genuine increase. God is the principal factor to every genuine increase. To every genuine advancement, God is the principal factor. If you have ever seen any increase in your life, God is behind it. 1 Corinthians 3.6 Paul planted, Apollos watered, but it was God that gave the increase. Let the people praise thee, O Lord, and let all the people praise thee, and then the art will yield her increase. The art will not produce for you without gratitude to God. The art of your business, the land of your business, your career may not produce except there is gratitude from you. Number four, or number five now, why gratitude? It is because of the mercies of the Lord that we are not consumed. It is because of the mercies of the Lord that we are not consumed. Lamentation 3, 22 to 23. It is because of the mercies of the Lord that we are not consumed because his mercies and his compassion fell at not, and they are new every morning. So every day God can renew his mercy currency for you so you have all the reason to remain grateful to him. Number six, our sufficiency is not of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Second Corinthians 3, 5. Second Corinthians 3, 5. For our sufficiency is not of ourselves, our sufficiency is of him. They didn't get the land by their own strength, not by their own sword, but because of thy arm, because of the right arm, because you had favor upon them and because of the light of thy countenance. You can't possess anything outside the sufficiency of God in your life. You cannot triumph in life. You cannot advance in life without gratitude to God. He said, we God causes us to triumph always. So it is God that is behind your triumph, behind your advancement. That's why your sufficiency is not of yourself. Philippians 2.13 It's God that walketh in us, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. There is nothing you have that you have not received. Your life, your brain that is working well, <laughs> it is because God is at work in your life. The profit you are making, don't pose as the doer. See God as a doer in your life. The peace you have, the orderliness in your life. If there is no peace, you will not be able to do anything. It is God that is at work in your life. And number seven, it is a divine expectation. Gratitude is a divine expectation. God expects us to be grateful to him. In that parable Jesus gave in Luke chapter 17, that story, 12 to 19, about the leper the 10 lepers that were healed one of them returned back and with a loud voice he glorified god and when he with a loud voice glorified god jesus asked them we are there not 10 here why is it that is this stranger that returned it was one it was a stranger some people are too used to god they're too used to god that's why if you come to church most of the time you see new members are getting testimonies more than old members because they are used to God. They become senior brothers and senior sisters of God. Why is it that it's only this one that returned? And you see, perfection is a function of gratitude. When that man returned, he was perfected. God gives us things in parts waiting for us to come back so that there shall be perfection. Please, as I conclude, never ever discount your blessings. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Don't discount them. Many people discount their blessings instead of counting them. 
one of the ways to enhance your thanksgiving and gratitude to God always is to be ever thinking. Think well and you will thank well. Think well. Reflect well. Remember. Meditate. Look at where you are coming from. Take a look at where you are now and where you are be. He always come through for you. Don't you know God has no change? Don't you know God has no change? You may not know how. You may not know when. But you will do it again. Rise on your feet this morning. I want to, from the depth of your heart, show gratitude to God. Take a look at where you used to be. Take a look at where you are now. Take a look at where he's taking you. Be grateful to him from the depth of your heart. Take a look. Think well. Show gratitude from the depth of your heart. Please, from the depth of your heart, thank him for every penny you have seen. Thank him for every opportunity he has given you. Every branch he has opened for you. Every opportunity he has given to you. Lift up your voices. Show him gratitude this morning. It takes gratitude to enjoy altitude. It takes gratitude to enjoy advancement. It takes gratitude to enjoy altitude in life. How grateful you are will determine how you fly on earth. Father, I thank you. I appreciate you. Who am I? Who is my father's house that you called me and you put me in ministry? You counted me faithful. You enabled me. Thank you for your divine enablement. Thank you for your wisdom at work in my life. Thank you for my sufficiency is not of myself. Thank you, Father, because I know I have never received anything that didn't come from you. Father, who am I? Who is my father's house that you gave a job to do? Some people are graduated with. They don't have job doing. Father, who am I? Who is my father's house that you gave me a business to do? Father, thank you. Thank you for increasing me to your wisdom at work in my life. For your help, for your grace, for your benefit, for your goodness in the works of my hand. Father, I thank you for making me to qualify as a professional. Father, I thank you. There are people who are better than me that never qualified. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Who am I? Who is my father's house that you gave this kind of money to control? Father, I thank you for your trust. It is because you trusted me. It is because you liked me. Father, Lord, I give you glory. I give you praise. I magnify you. I exalt you. I thank you from the depth of my heart. Thank you for your blessing upon my life, upon my family, upon the works of my heart. Thank you for opening the heavens above me, for opening the heaven above my career, for opening the heaven above my ministry, for opening the heaven above my children. Father, I thank you. You never allowed me to suffer a loss. You never allowed me to enter into a business where I suffered. Father, I thank you. I give you glory that my work is still there. People have lost their work. People have been retrenched. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I acknowledge you as the doer of great things in my life. Oh, Father, if you have not kept me, Father, I, where will I have been by now? If you have not kept me, where will I have been by now? Thank you for building me up. I regard the work of your hand. I regard the operation of your hand. Who am I? Who is my father's house to be a business owner? Who am I? Who is my father's house? Where am I from? Father, I thank you. I thank you from the depth of my heart. I show gratitude to you because I recognize you as the one behind every increase in my life. As the one behind every increase, even I thank you for the people owing me. Who am I? Who is my father's house? The people can owe me. Who am I? Who is my father's house? Father, I thank you. Thank you because I'm not the one owing. Thank you, Father. I glorify your name. I appreciate you. Every good thing, every perfect thing in my life is from you. I recognize your help. I recognize your help. Thank you for safety in all my ways. Traveling from far and near, you have kept me in the air, in the land, in the sea. You have kept me. If I'm dead, will I be talking of business? If I'm dead, will I be talking of profession? In all the roads, you never allowed me to see arm robbers. You never allowed me to see evil. You never allowed me to see shame. You never allowed me to see accident. Father, I thank you. To you alone be glory. To you alone be glory. Father, I rejoice. I rejoice in you. I acknowledge you. I say you have done all things well. 
in my life you have done all things well in my family you have done all things well in my ministry you have done all things well in my career you have done all things well thank you for promotion upon promotion thank you for lifting upon lifting oh i've gone from place to place now you suffer no one to do me wrong you permitted no one to do me wrong but i thank you for not allowing the wickedness of the wickedness to come near me for not allowing the wickedness of the wicked to stop me. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. For favor you are giving me before my superiors, before my subordinates, before people. Thank you. I didn't get the land by my strength. It is because you of the light of your countenance. Because of your favor. Father, I give you glory. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know what David said? He said, God chose me among my father's children to be king. He delighted in me because he liked me. Because he liked me. Because he liked me. Hallelujah. It's because God liked you. That is why you have seen what you have seen. To him alone be glory. Please learn to appreciate him for every increase. Every day when you come back, thank him. Thank him. Every day, look for something. There is something that has increased somewhere. Thank him for that. Hallelujah. There's something you have not lost. Thank him for that. And I'm telling you the truth. You begin to see advancement upon advancement. Lift up your two hands to him right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because your people have shown you gratitude this morning. Let them gain altitude in life. Altitude in their businesses. Altitude in their careers. Altitude in their finances. In the name of Jesus, wherever anyone is right now that they thank you, Lord, take them to next level. Next level breakthroughs, next level advancement, next level promotion, next level miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every business represented here, every career represented here, every profession, every work of hand. Make progress. Advance. Every resistance to your advancement, I crush them by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Oh, he said, The work of the house of the Lord cease. But the prophet came on the scene and began to help them by prophesying to them. I decree help come to you right now. The Lord God will help you right early. New doors are opening to you, new opportunities are coming to you. I decree this year shall end well for you. You shall see far greater things. He said, though your beginning may be small, your later end shall greatly increase. I command greater increases right now. 